Hey everyone, this is Mike and today I'm going to be doing another part of my Closer's Gear Guide video. Uh, earlier this week, Nito Chris came out, which is a new addition to the Purification Ops. And it gives you the last thing that we were pretty much missing, and that is our receiver. Now, currently I am using the Tier 4 receiver. Um, tier 5 is of course going to be the highest, as is with the other uh, modules and core as well. And I'll show you really quick how to get it as well. So. Uh, crafting wise, there's only two new additions. If we go to the normal purification ops materials, uh, you'll see that there's now also these um, amplifier stones um, for your receiver or your amp. Um, all of these, the first uh, tier 1 to tier 3, um, you can get by just doing the normal purification thingies. So doing Halpas, Tinda, Yot, and Nitokris as well. Um, so these require the normal materials that any other purification stone requires. Now, when you go into these ones, um, you'll see that you need Nitocris charts. And you can get these by doing the Hell Overflow reverse version. Um, but I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. So that's the only new things there. Um, then, of course, you will drop uh, new amps. I don't have any in my inventory anymore, but they kind of look like this. Um, every character has three amps and they will empower and level up one specific uh, EX skill. So different characters want different EX skills. Technically for Luna, um, I'd probably want for Ravenwing, um, but since I don't want to retune all of my modules, um, I'm just going to take the one for Winter Triangle because that's the only one that's missing uh, a skill point to get it to level 10. Um, keep in mind that these amps, um, when they're at tier 4, like minus right now, it gives plus one in the skill. Um, if it's tier five, which it will be probably somewhere in two weeks or something, um, then it gives plus two in that skill. So that's something to keep in mind that you don't necessarily need um, to get the specific skill to level nine or something, uh, but you can leave it at eight if level 10 is what you're aiming for. So what is the new addition to purification then? Every, I think it's Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, and then on Saturday, uh, you can fight Nidocris. So basically, any day where Yot is not available, Nidocris will be there except Wednesday. Yes, because then it's just Tinda and Halpas. Um, the way you unlock her is the same as the way that you unlocked Yot. So you go into the side missions, uh, they're kind of all the way at the bottom, um, but you just have to clear stage 1, 2 once, then stage 3, 4 twice, and then you unlock her because you can only do Nidocris at stage. Um, for uh, five and six because as you can see it's locked right now and then five and six opens it up uh, in my opinion five is probably the best one to do because you also can get a pretty cool title from her uh, i scroll down just a little bit over here uh, this title is pretty nice uh, it's a little bit better than the yacht title personally think it might be a little bit worse than the title you get from uh, the chain missions from hell um, but this is still a pretty good title to get, nevertheless. So that's probably what I'm going to be aiming for. Um, other than that, from doing the sides, uh, you can also get these things. And this will allow you to um, awaken your hell pets. So Tindalos, Yot, and Halpas, both, uh, or all three of them, uh, have a pet version that you can get by just doing the missions over here. Like, for example, this is the mini win... Uh, like Tindalos pet, but I already have a pretty decent pet on Luna, so I didn't get that one just yet. Maybe I'll get it at some point. Um, but on some other characters, I definitely have these pets. Um, but you could only get them to level 50, and that was it. Now, if you do these sides a couple times, uh, you can also do them on level 2, uh, which will give you a poster, and then this thing again, and on level 1, 2 as well. Another thing for housing, and then another one of those. Um, so that's how you can awaken all three of your hell pets if you want to do so. Um, other than that, there's not really much new things. Um, there's a pretty cool event going on right now as well. For every um, entry that you do into any sector, you get uh, these things down here, these Nidocris tokens, and you can spend those on some pretty cool stuff. Um, you can get, of course, Enhancement Fortifiers. We have Dark Synchro Fibers for the first time now as well on EU, um, but these are the two really cool ones. Uh, Purification Ops Free Pass allows you to um, kind of circumvent the daily limitation of going into Purification. As you can see, I already crafted one of them, um, but it basically gives you a voucher um, to give you one extra entry into a Purification thingy. So I use this, for example, to go into Overflow to Reverse again. Uh, so that's why I already have my amp on T4 instead of just T3. 
and then the purification ops material box gives you a bunch of hell materials uh, that would otherwise take quite a while to get um, now of course i've been talking about reverse overflow so you still have normal hell as always um, but just like whenever yacht is available in the rotation um, whenever nitrocrit is available now you also have a hell overflow um, but every time nitrocrit is available it is called overflow reversed because the last two phases are different so everything from uh, first fighting Tindalos, then fighting Halpas, where Tindalos and Halpa show up at the same time as well, to then fighting Yot is still the same. It's just the last two phases where Yot summons the walls and then goes into with the orbs and stuff. That's gone. That's where you're going to be fighting Nitochris twice. Um, but I already uploaded a video of that on my channel. Uh, if you want to go check it out, I'll probably link it in the description or something. Um, it's pretty much the same as Hell Overflow. It's just the last two um, stages that are kind of different um, but yeah that's pretty much everything they added so you have a new overflow that you can do three times a week um, this also gives all the hell materials by the way so this gives um, the material for your costume the material for um, of course your amplifiers now as well to upgrade those and your materials for the trinkets um, so it's definitely something that you want to be doing if you're still gearing up uh, and then of course in the normal one we have Nitochris here she's really easy um, you can even fail her mechanic and still beat the boss fight without dying, which is kind of stupid. Um, but it is what it is. And then, of course, the side sides are exactly the same as Yacht, so it's three mini-bosses instead of just a longer dungeon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that they added in this patch. Nothing new, uh, well, nothing too much new with gear-wise. It's just this new amplifier, of course. As I said, there's three different ones of them, so look where you still need points um, in your... EX skills, or if you want to min-max, uh, grab the skill that does the most damage for you and then tune your modules and your core um, so that they make up for the um, like the extra skill points that you need for your EX skills. Um, of course, you have kind of a little bit of more extra room when we get level 85, but we don't have that just yet. Um, so for now, I'm just going to be using this. Um, if I do end up getting the one for Ravenwing, I'll probably get that one to tier 5 as well. Uh, and then when we have level 85, I can just swap them out and get uh, Winter Triangle to level 10 as well, um, just from the extra levels that we get. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the new things, mainly just the new amp. Uh, of course, as is with all hell, um, stuff for every character can drop. And I think you can switch things around with the Grammary box as well, which you can get in the exchange shop under special items, this thing, I believe. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but you can just check that real quick. I don't have any amps in my inventory anymore, so I can't check it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. New amps that you can go farm. Uh, it's not worth using them uh, until they are at least at tier 4, um, because tier 3 is worse than a um, like the highest tier that you can get from hell, uh, which are these, I believe it is. Yeah, so as you can see, technically total combat power is still more, but it gives me more item level and the plus one EX skill. Uh, so that's why I'm using it, because I have these three trinkets done, meaning that I don't get the plus one from the Halpas trinket set anymore. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the, questions, uh, in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.